It's often said that possession is nine tenths of the law, but when it comes to DNA, who owns it? Howdy, I'm Devin Noel Lee with Family History Fanatics, and this is a segment of DNA with a twist. Today we're going to talk with Victoria Wu, a will and probate attorney here in Texas. But before we talk to any lawyer, they always have to give a disclaimer. And remember, this is YouTube. You shouldn't be getting all of your legal advice from YouTube. As a disclaimer, nothing herein can be taken as legal advice. Uh, you must contact a licensed attorney in your jurisdiction for your specific needs. And nothing herein constitutes the formation of an attorney-client relationship. We're back again with the question of the day for GNA and a little, little legal spin. This question might have a short answer. Let's find out. <laughs> Who owns your DNA? You do. <laughs> okay, we're done. No, seriously. Okay. Give us a little lengthier answer to that. Uh, you own your DNA, absolutely, 100%. Um, what you do when you provide your DNA to companies like Ancestry or Family Tree or 23andMe is you provide them a limited license in which to test your DNA. Okay. Um, you also, about 80% of the people who do do do, do the testing, um, click on the informed consent line, which then permits those companies to share your information with third parties. They do reports, they do studies, they come up with all sorts of information, they perfect the algorithms on ethnicity and things like that. Um, you can not click that and make sure that information always stays yourself. You can click it and then later withdraw your informed consent. You have that right under federal law. Just know that if you have granted informed consent and it's been shared, uh, it's out there and it's hard to get back. So as a genealogist, we're, we're not gonna talk law here. This is just <laughs> Victoria speaking as herself. Is it beneficial to, like what is the pros and cons of, um, sharing your DNA for the benefits of medical because I know Andy is a science guy mm -hmm. and so he likes to share because it can actually lead to right. medical discoveries it, so what do you think yeah I mean there's there's a bigger pool the, the bigger the pool the information is the the more they the studies they can do the information they can can garner mm -hmm. um, they can perfect those algorithms that determine certain things um, but uh, again, that's, it's kind of up to you whether you want that out there, as I said in another piece. Um, there was an MIT study where they did figure out who people were mm -hmm. <laughs> from, from just their raw DNA. So that's just something you need to evaluate if that's something you, you want to do or not. And do you think some of the laws might change for what yes. can and can't be done? I do. Um, last, about a month ago, Chuck Schumer from New York came out and spoke about how the privacy rights and, and some of the information sharing needs to be um, firmed up a little bit because there aren't rules. This is another time where technology is sometimes ahead of the law, which is not that uncommon. Um, so I would say in the next five years or so, I think you're going to see some stricter rules come out. Now you mentioned that you could withdraw your consent mm -hmm. if you decide to take it back. What would the procedure be? Do you need to call a lawyer? Or when would you need to call a lawyer? <laughs> you, can, you can probably do it yourself. You can write a simple letter that says, I'm withdrawing my consent to share my DNA information with third parties. Um, I believe 23andMe already has a little spot where you can click that. Um, 23andMe also lets you tell them to destroy your DNA sample. Um, other companies don't, but I'm sure you can write them and, and ask for that as well. Okay. And then when do you call a lawyer in? I mean, if your DNA is in a study, it's mm -hmm. in a study and you it's take it It's in a that study way. and you've agreed and your, your rights are kind of limited at that point. Okay. But then let's say if you have trouble with 23andMe and they mm -hmm. say, I'm not saying 23andMe is going to do that. 23andMe people. <laughs> any, of them? any of them. If yes. you submit a letter and they don't, is that time when you go get some legal you help? You can, yes. I would have a lawyer do a cease and desist letter at that point. Cease and desist. Ah, they're not just for <laughs> stealing content on blogs anymore. <laughs> No, they're not. <laughs> now, if you have any other questions about uh, your DNA ownership, be sure to put those in the comments section below. Check out our website, FamilyHistoryFanatics.com, so you can be informed of upcoming e-conferences. <laughs>